In this video, we'll take a look at the type of bonds for NH3, that's ammonia. So first off, we need to know what type of elements we have bonded together. If we look at the periodic table, divided up into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, and we'll find nitrogen, that's right here. Nitrogen, that's a nonmetal. And then hydrogen, over here, even though it's with all the metals, hydrogen is considered a nonmetal. So we have two nonmetals. When we have two nonmetals, we have a covalent bond, also called a molecular bond. So we'll have covalent bonds with this NH3. Our type of bonds are covalent or molecular bonds. Let's see what that looks like. So if we draw the Lewis structure here for NH3, we'll put N here. Hydrogens always go on the outside of Lewis structures. And then we'll put our three hydrogens around it. So we need to know how many valence electrons, electrons that are in the outside of the atoms, the ones that can form those chemical bonds, we have for the whole NH3 molecule here. Let's look at the periodic table again. So here we have the periodic table kind of shrunk down to show us the valence electrons. Group one, these all have one. Group two, these all have two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals, three, four. And here's nitrogen in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. Hydrogen in group one, that has one valence electron. So we have one valence electron, but we have three hydrogens. So we'll multiply this by three. So we have a total of eight valence electrons for NH3, ammonia. Now we can write the structure with those covalent bonds. So we have eight valence electrons. We put them between the atoms, and that's going to form that covalent bond. We've used six, and then we put the last two up here on top of the nitrogen. When we talk about the type of bond for the ammonia atom, these atoms right here are sharing these electrons. These are shared electrons because it's a covalent bond. You can think about it as this hydrogen here brought one electron, this hydrogen brought an electron and brought one, and then the nitrogen, it has two, three, four, five electrons. So all of these electrons by sharing, this nitrogen has a total of eight. These electrons up here, these are called unbonded electrons. They are not involved in the chemical bond. We call them lone pair electrons sometimes as well. This is Dr. B with the type of bonds in NH3, ammonia. Thanks for watching.